What is up YouTubers? If you're looking for a budget-friendly camera, but you still want great quality footage, I would highly suggest scrolling down to the link below to grab the GoPro Hero 9 Black. If that's still a little bit too expensive, too much more than you're wanting to spend, no problem, because GoPro also has the GoPro Hero 7 Black, which also provides great quality footage. So like I said, down below I have links for that, plus I have links for all of the other equipment that I use to make my videos on this channel. Go check them out. Hey, it's Chris with Nostalgia Tours here, and in this video, I am in Genoa, Illinois. It's a small town that's outside of the Chicago suburban area, the core suburban area, surrounded by cornfields in every direction. Well, let's get to it, shall we? After purchasing a drink at this McDonald's and getting 50 free refills on soda like only a true hobo would, hashtag van life, I felt like life was moving just as fast as this video is currently. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the evil monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoy this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like what you see here can be found in my Illinois playlist, my Chicago suburbs playlist, or in my USA small towns playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. And just like that, we're in downtown Genoa. Be careful as if you blink, you'll miss it, with it being only a couple of blocks long. It seems that most of the storefronts seem to be occupied, so that's good. Other than that, it's just your typical small town downtown. Genoa is located in the northeastern part of DeKalb County, which is a part of the Chicago metro area. 15 minutes due east from here on Route 72, which is the road that I'm currently on, is the village of Hampshire in Kane County, and from that point east it's miles of Chicago suburbia until you get to Lake Michigan. Unlike DeKalb County as a whole and DeKalb City, which is the largest city in the county, Genoa is actually estimated to have grown since the 2010 census, only by 100 people though, but it's better than losing 100 people. The median household income in Genoa is $67,000 per year, and the poverty rate is 10%. 15% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $154,000. Niche.com gives the Genoa and Kingston Public Schools a B, so that's not terrible but not as good as the nearby town of Sycamore. The crime rates in Genoa are below average, so that's good to know that the conflicting Bears and Packers fans in town can keep their cool when the two teams play each other twice every year. At least, Bears fans don't have to deal with Mitchell Trubisky anymore. As is the case with most towns of this size, there's really not much to Genoa. The city was settled around 1835 by a settler named Thomas Madison who fought in the Revolutionary War and named it after the town of Genoa, New York, and that town was named after Genoa, Italy. In 1876, Genoa was incorporated as a village, and in 1911, Genoa was incorporated as a city. To the right here is Genoa Kingston Middle School. The city's website claims that Genoa is an award-winning city that has the benefits of both an urban and rural community. I would say that Genoa has the benefits of a suburban community instead of an urban one, and I feel like even saying that is putting it nicely, as when you look around there's not much urban to speak of. There's not many amenities in Genoa itself, but if you drive 15 minutes in either direction and then some, then you'll definitely start to see more suburban amenities. That is, unless McDonald's does it for you. It's definitely got the rural and small town feel going for it though, and there's definitely nothing wrong with that. 
Something that's understated about the dozen or so towns of this size in the region between Rockford and Chicagoland is that you're only one hour away from O'Hare International Airport, which provides direct flights to places all over the world. Another thing that the city's website claims is that Rockford is only a 15-minute drive northwest, and that's only if you reach the far eastern outskirts of Rockford, which I guess is the only place that you'd ever need to go in that city, as that's where everything in Rockford is located. The city website also claims that Genoa has an excellent school system, in which it's not terrible based off of Niche.com's ratings. More claims include affordable housing, which that's true, community events, parks, and activities, and that's accurate as well, I suppose. If you're looking to start a business, the website claims that tax incentives are offered, so I guess that's cool too. Did I just hear you say that McDonald's is the only place to eat in town? There's plenty of other places to eat in town, you idiot. Just because there's no other recognizable brands doesn't mean that McDonald's is the only place to eat. I never said that McDonald's was the only place to eat. That was a nice twist on words, though. I was simply just trying to make a point that there aren't too many options. I also said that being in a small town is not a bad thing, but you seem to gloss over that. I was just saying that I didn't think that Genoa had the benefits of an urban community as the website claims. So. Calm down, I'll buy you a Happy Meal along with your favorite scent of Scratch and Sniff. On the left, across from the industrial property, is the Genoa City Hall and Police Department. This place straight ahead that's called Custom Aluminum Products appears to be the largest employer in town, public school district aside. For the county, the largest employer by far and away is Northern Illinois University as it employs over 9,000 workers, and then you also have the DeKalb Public Schools along with Target which has a distribution center in DeKalb. Here's a nice look at the water tower. As in most cases with small towns, the water towers are landmarks that can be seen above the tree lines for at least a couple of miles outside of the towns themselves.
One last stroll through downtown as we make our way to the high school because, well, there's just not too many other routes to take. It also goes without saying that it's the most interesting street in Genoa. Another interesting thing of note is that this portion of Route 72 is a part of the longer Galena and Chicago Stagecoach Trail, which is a historic route for this area. We all know that Chicago is a huge city, but back in the day Galena's population rivaled that of Chicago. I'm not saying that Galena had over 2 million people, but I'm saying that Chicago was once home to a couple of thousand people, just like Galena is today, so hold off on calling me an idiot on that one. I'd appreciate it if you did. Well, anyway, back in the day, Galena and Chicago were both the same size at around a couple of thousand residents, and for the time of the early 19th century, both cities were considered to be big cities for this region. In 1839, the Galena and Chicago Stagecoach Trail was completed, and the trail passed through Genoa on the town's main street. And here is where I end the video, which is at Genoa Kingston High School, home of the COGS. I guess COGS stands for Community of Genoa Schools. It's also called Genoa Kingston, as there is a town not too far to the west that's called Kingston. In this video, you saw that Genoa is an incredibly small town on the outskirts of Chicagoland. However, due to suburbanization, the town is a bit bigger than what it may appear to be at first glance. And who knows if this place will ever grow to be even bigger in the future, or if the growth will stay stagnant for years to come. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoy this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like Genoa can be found in my Illinois playlist, my Chicago suburbs playlist, or in my USA Small Towns playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!